about the weather because I feel like the grass has needed a little bit of water, but this seems like a lot all at once. Right, from hot and humid to very wet and windy, Pamela. Yeah, exactly. And you may wake up in the middle of the night and hear that heavy rain coming down, maybe some thunder, and you might hear the wind too. A little bit of everything moving through as a mini area of low pressure passes through southern New England. We have a flash flood watch through tomorrow morning because of the locally heavy rainfall anticipated. One to three inch rainfall rates per hour possible. This means street, urban, and small stream flooding is likely in some communities. Communities. And here's the radar picture. Some showers already starting to fill in and move in from the south and west with the heavy bursts of rain still across western Massachusetts. And all today across the Berkshires, we've had one to three inches of rain already. So some flood warnings and advisories are up for extreme western mass with more heavy rain moving across Springfield and across the Pike in some spots closer to Boston here, just to the west, Newton, all the way to Wellesley. This shower heading to the north, and we have more showers developing across the south shore as well. Hingham to Situate, those moving just offshore, but additional rain pushing back in tonight. Back to the west here, Westboro, all the way to even Worcester, and then to the west of there, Charlton and Southbridge. It's a tough drive across the pike with torrential rainfall reducing the visibility. And if you're out late tonight or early, early tomorrow morning, you'll be faced with these tropical downpours. The center of low pressure here, so we get this pinwheel shape, indicates that it's going to get a little windy as this passes to the north and east, and right over central and northeastern parts of Massachusetts just after midnight. Here's the two AM snapshot and heavy rain across Boston, isolated pockets of thunder, and the center of low pressure moves towards southern New Hampshire along the coastline here by 5 AM with more heavy bursts of rain across Buzzards Bay, Cape Cod, and the islands. And then we get a brief break from the wall of rain, but still some of those isolated showers will linger in the forecast in the afternoon. If we get some sunshine, this could help to trigger a strong storm. And a damaging wind gust would be the main threat, as well as the torrential rain, obviously, but some lightning. If you're out and about, you get caught in a rainstorm. If you hear thunder, that means there is lightning with that storm. You want to get inside until that storm passes. More rain for the evening commute as well, but very hit or miss. And then we clear things out from west to east later tomorrow night. Potential rainfall, one to three inches consistently. Of course, some towns may only see half an inch of rain. It all depends on where that heaviest rain does set up. The wind gusts for tomorrow morning for a few hours, 35 to 45 miles per hour across southeastern Massachusetts coming from the south and east. Those winds are starting to pick up just a little bit. Nothing too damaging at this time right now. The wind from the south sustained in Boston at 12, temperature 75, and it is soupy. Our dew points still in the low 70s. And a muggy night ahead for us as temperatures will stay in the low 70s, downpours and more thunder for tomorrow, scattered storms and showers, and a high of 84 degrees. Not an ideal beach day for you tomorrow, but if you happen to be outdoors, just be aware, rip current risk is moderate because of the stormy weather moving in. Here's your seven-day outlook. Some relief, finally, as we get towards the end of the seven-day forecast, talking Sunday into Monday, lower humidity, lots of sun. We're drying things off, and then maybe some more tropical air for midweek next week. Lisa, David. All right, Pamela, thank you.